What the crap is that? River Rats, if you guessed that was snow, you'd be correct. Now, you could cry about it or you could just go fishing. And I'm a firm believer that there's no such thing as bad weather, just bad clothes. So I'm gonna bundle up and try to catch something. So let's go. At least the snow didn't stick too bad here. Nothing like walking around in 35 degree weather before the sun comes up. Nice wet vegetation. Good old time. I actually kind of like it. I'm pretty toasty. Like I said, no such thing as bad weather, just bad clothes. And it helps that I have a thermos full of coffee. Holy cow. Caught me a walleye. Forgot what you guys looked like. The ironic part is, I got a walleye tattoo and then fish for walleyes four consecutive times after getting my walleye tattoo and could not catch a walleye. <laughs> and then finally got one. He's not quite edible size for my standards. Not that I have the highest standards in the world, but I do like him to be a little bit bigger. Okay, cool. See ya. There's turkeys across the river. They just flew from the roost and landed on the sandbar. That's pretty sweet. One's got a little beard. Maybe a Jake. One's kind of, yeah, they're both Jakes. What's that trying to strut? Just turkeys being turkeys. They're weird birds. I like them a lot though. Probably because they're delicious. There I go, slide down the bank a smidge. I just need to get into that central Iowa fall walleye bite bind set. Like, okay, I'm gonna fish for three hours, cast, 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 and get zero to two bites. If I get two walleyes, it's a good day. It's pretty central Iowa. Anything beyond that is a very special day. At least based on my non-expert walleye catching abilities. And if there's anyone who goes out every time and busts out a limit of keeper walleyes, and by keepers I mean 15 plus inches, get a hold of me. <laughs> I like to learn. Cool thing about walleyes is when it's crappy and cold, you can still get them. Sometimes you get them the best when it's scrappy and cold. But... There's something moving in the woods behind me. It's probably squirrel. I should go squirrel on it. I haven't done that for a long time. Should also probably change lures because this is not getting sniffed. I will say when I woke up this morning, and it was 70 yesterday, and there was snow on my truck today, it took a little talking myself into going out. It's more of a preparation thing, you know, like during the summer you just uh, get dressed, put on flip flops and go. Now you gotta put on a base layer, sweatshirt, you know, bibs, boots, a little more comprehensive but one cup of coffee and I was like you know what let's go let's go fishing and I've been rewarded with a 12 inch walleye but a slump buster walleye got me a rock come on All right. this must mean it's time to re-rig and drink a cup of coffee you know, I probably should be much faster about getting rigged up and everything, but I think there's something to be said about, you know, soaking it all in. My hands are cold, they don't work as fast. I do know that. I wonder if there's anyone else crazy enough to be on the river today. It feels crazy now, it won't feel crazy in a month. Be wishing for this weather in a month. Rigged up, now for that cup of coffee. Hopefully these clouds will extend the bite window. That would be ideal. 
Not that the bite window has been fantastic, but... It's the kind of morning where a cup of hot coffee don't stay hot long, unless you bring an insulated cup, but... When you're walking on the bank, that's just more crap to carry. One walleye. 22 inch. A lunch walleye. Had one pull my pants down. What a guy. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna slam this cup of coffee. Then we're going to head to a different location and bust out the great equalizer of fishing, which is live bait. Oh, there's bait. One, two, three, four, five. A little bit of depth, more than where I was at. There's a gentleman here when I got here and he said, poor fishing. I can attest that it's not been gangbusters. I'm kind of wishing I would have came here first now, just by the looks of it. I think I'll throw my sucker under a bobber. That way he doesn't get tangled up in these rocks and whatnot. We have very complicated rigging. A hook, a split shot, a bobber. Get a smaller one. Oh, that's a creek job. Eh, should get the job done either way. Go work your magic, friend. You get smushed. I love watching them bobber. Just bob. Do bobbing stuff. Appears we have some tomfoolery going on. I almost knocked my coffee cup over. That would have been terrible. Oh, he must have got excited. Went for a cruise. Get back out there, bud. Get back in, out in the game, man. Well, looks like I figured out what was uh, eating those shiners. Did not feel him hit. What I do feel like doing is switching to oh, I left on my truck. Switching to a little tiny fluke. So I think he's they're definitely chasing shiners. Of course now they're I don't see any of them feeding on top. Little fathead minnow, opaque purple. I'm gonna taste the shiner pretty good. It's real dirty. It's got that, they're kind of opaque, those emerald shiners. I don't know the definition of opaque, but I think that's what they are. Hopefully there's some white bass who like them. Or walleyes. I mean, impersonates a shiner. Switch back to the swimmy. The old split tail ain't doing much for me. Neither is my creek chub, sadly. He's pretty unperturbed. I don't know if that's a word or not, but I'm gonna roll with it. Feels right. I have this just mass of <laughs> plastics laying here. I think I'm gonna throw a catfish rod out. But I think I am, I'm, I'm going to. There's a, a mud flat downstream. I'll just bomb it down there. Sometimes they roam that stuff when it's cooler out and handy. Conveniently, I just happen to have some uh, suckers and such here. Yep, you will do. Really like this double hook rig when it's cold out. All it is is two dropper knots. 
trapper loop knots, whatever you want to call them. And I like J hooks, at least for uh, channels and flatheads. Blue cats just smack it, and they bite so hard. I my hookup rate isn't as good. Put the old J's for blue cats, but for the other two. All right. Get him out there doing his thing. Ooh. That's my drag. About right. Maybe a little loose. Like no current, so I'm only using like an ounce and a half. Well, there's more depth there than I thought there was. It's alright. We'll see what happens. Depth is not always a good thing when it's cold out. Except when it is. Is he still there? I looked over my poles bouncing. Not a bad sign. It's no longer bouncing though. That's a bad sign. You didn't smack it, but when it's 34 degrees out, you, I don't, wasn't really expecting him to. That was quick, that was nice. Something moving around down there at least. Take it. Ooh. Got him. <laughs> he feels like a fine eating size one too. Oh yeah. Almost pan frying size. I'm glad you decided to come back, friend. Oh, he's so skinny though. <laughs> My creek jub didn't like that. He's on the move. Sweet, going on a stringer. He liked himself a little sucker. He's a sucker for the sucker. Get it? Yeah. I'm here all week. <laughs> I compounded a bad joke with another bad joke. Catfish out of cold water. It's gonna be wonderful. You just hang out there, bud. I just need another one. All right, I'm gonna give in to my bait fisherman tendencies. Not a bad set of tendencies. I mean, bait gets it done. It's just kind of a pain sometimes. <laughs> Turned around and it was folded over. He hit it like he meant it. And he is also perfect eating size. They come in like a propeller when it's cold. <laughs> When the walleyes don't want to cooperate, I love how I can count on you, catfish. Always been there for me. Except flatheads, sometimes they're like, you suck too. <laughs> Alright. Alright, tell me about it. I gotta get that back out there. I'm on again. I just looked over and the rod was bending over. Is he going to be the mirror? In oh, he might be a little better. He's getting my other rod rigged up. Oh, he's a little better. Come here. Yes. Sweet. Looked right in the corner. I like it. All right. Join your friends. Alright, go join your buddy. I'm going to throw this one closer to shore, I think. E. Should probably clean you. Wow, it's quite a bit deeper there. How's my drag sitting? Not bad. And then, uh... If I'm, if I get a minute, I'd like to put that creek jet on the bottom now. Just in case Mr. Walter wants to show up, which wouldn't hurt my feelings. 
full-blown bait fisherman right now. Even for the walleyes. Feels just so right. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty impressed how uh, catfish are just smacking it pretty good. I mean, it went from 70, like 65, 70, and it's gonna be high of like 45 today, and it snowed last night. So it's not textbook like, oh yeah, we're gonna go out and beat them up. And the catfish are like, we don't care what you think. But once I'm happy about it. Usually it's the other way around. Oh yeah, I should beat them up. It's gonna be awesome. And then it's not awesome. This is pretty awesome, even if they're not giant. Getting bit right now as I'm trying to get this rod rigged up. <laughs> There, he got it, I think. See, he bet. He hit it like he's better, but you know, sometimes they run at you. He's fast. By sometimes they run at you, I mean lots of times they run at you. Oh, yeah. Dinner-sized. He lassoed himself right in front of me. He's not happy, but I am. I'm going to add him to the old lunchtime guest list. <clears throat> All right, now we're uh, catching for fun. I mean, they've all been for fun, don't get me wrong, but uh, everyone else gets free pass. All right, time to get you out there for a random shot at a possible walleye. Get a... Um, yeah, there's some depth there. A wall, I wouldn't hurt my feelings a bit. Sun's shining, clouds are clearing, catfish are eating. And I'm gonna be eating here before too long. Can't believe it's 11:30 already. Come on, man. You just tagged it pretty good. I'd like to get one more before I fry up your cousins or brothers, or sisters. I'm not sure. I'm kind of an indiscriminate killer when it comes to uh, one to two pound channel cats. Oh, ripped it right out of his mouth. Heard me talking crap, probably. Oh, the other one actually got hit. That was exciting. Maybe a leaf fell and hit it. I don't know, it quivered. Gotcha. <laughs> it's nice to see you joining on the party. It's funny, I moved the red reel to where the silver reel was, I moved the silver reel to where the red reel was, and then the red reel gets hit. So apparently, catfish like red. It's science. I also put fresh bait on it, so that might you know, be part of it too. It's not a good experiment. I don't have the software, the mathematical capabilities for mental math to uh, do two variables at once. What's Oh, he's got a, a gouge. It's healing, though. All right. You get a pass. Oh, yeah, there's a shoe there, if anybody needs a shoe. I don't understand that. It would suck walking out of here with one shoe. Like, did they come here with one shoe? I don't know kind of perplexing. I'm going to bleed these guys out before I clean them. All you got to do is just nick them underneath the uh, gills here. And then you'll have much higher quality meat. I'll just let them bleed out and then uh, finish what I was doing. Then finish cleaning them at the vehicle. I got a cutting board in the back of my truck. Makes it pretty slick. Whoa. Whoa, these catfish magically turned into fillets. How convenient. It's not all of them. I'm going to save a few and take them home, but I'm going to eat some while I'm out here. My hands are disgusting. Or you can see that. A little sanitation goes a long ways. Sometimes. 
All right, first trick, leveling it out. It's not the perfect structure, but I think it'll work. That's the downfall of this thingy is, the downfall of this thingy is it's kind of wobbly, but it's less wobbly than my other one, and it burns hotter, and it's cold out, so. And I'm eating out of the back of my truck. On the ground. But food outside tastes delicious. Take my fillets, throw them in a baggie. I throw them in a baggie with a bunch of franks. Got the franks extra hot, which is uh, extra better. Spread the franks, massage them in. Yeah, these fish were swimming literally 10 minutes ago, which makes this whole deal a whole lot sweeter. Okay, what else do I need out of here? I need a baggie to put breading in. I don't contaminate all of my bread in. Not out of baggies. Actually, there's about enough in here where I can just probably reuse this baggie. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. Take a few out of here. Ooh, ooh, ow, 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 ow. That cut there. Yeah, that Frank's is vinegar based, so that, uh, that burned extra good. Still burning. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. Oh yeah. It's gonna get real hot real fast. Which is what I want because I'm really hungry right now. Not perfectly level. It's pretty close. Alright, the test. Yep. Game time. Those are gonna be phenomenal. 40 degrees out. Brian catfish. They appear golden and they appear crispy. Oh yeah. Round one complete. Okay, get some more in there. Just heard my knee pop. That's probably not good. Gonna have one more round to go. Hopefully those cool off quick because they look delicious and I don't know if I want to wait. Ooh, that's I like them a little black and yeah, dark brown. Perfect. The pile was a little bit bigger. The pile was a little bit bigger, but I uh they fell victim to hunger. I guess technically they all did. But, uh... <laughs> Pretty phenomenal. Unseasonably cool, crappy day. Sun's finally came out, so that's nice. But, uh, I was hoping for walleyes, but catfish saved the day. And right now that's it. A-OK -okay by me. But it's really OK by me. Well, if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos of me hopefully catching some fish and stuffing my face with uh, gourmet riverside dishes like this, hit the subscribe button. Regardless, I really appreciate you watching. Hope you catch a giant. Mm.